Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to select WooCommerce as a trigger and send data to Bit Integrations Actions. At first, open the Bit Integrations dashboard. Now click on Create Integration button to create an integration. Select WooCommerce as a trigger. Select the task, product, from the drop-down list that you connect with actions and wait for a few seconds until the next button is active and click on the next button. After completing these steps, the actions will appear on a new page. Now select any action of your preference that you want to integrate with WooCommerce. I am selecting Google Sheets. Here you can set the integration name of your preference. To get the client ID and secrets open your Google Developer Console. Set up everything inside the Google Developer Console. And I've already created the client ID and secret. To know how to set up the Google Developer Console to integrate Google Sheets, read our documentation about the Google Sheet integration link in the description below. Now copy the client ID and secret and paste it into the integration setting. Now click on the Authorize button after successfully authorizing and click on the Next button. Select the specific spreadsheet from the drop-down menu which you have created before on Google Sheet. Then select the worksheet that belongs to the selected spreadsheet. Now specify the header row. By default, the first row of the worksheet is considered as a header row and click on the refresh button. You can now map the form fields with the necessary Google fields. After mapping the desired fields, click on Next. To save the integration process, click on Finish and Save. Now create a new product. After the creating product, check your Google Sheet. After create a product, go to integration timeline where you can check integration success or error status.
Thanks for watching.